So a lot of people were worried that the holiday weekend would bring out the crowds, causing yet another spike in coronavirus cases. And by the look of it, Americans failed that Labor Day challenge. Oh, man. Yep. Uh, just check out this video from Friday night. Hundreds of people gathered together in Vegas, not social distancing. Look at that. I don't see that many masks. I don't see very many at all, actually. Meantime, Northeastern University has dismissed 11 students for violating the school's COVID-19 rules. They got caught gathering together in a dorm room without social, social distancing or masks. Uh, but get this, the university is reportedly keeping their tuition, all $36,500 worth. Uh, what do you make of that, Jeff? Do you think that's fair? No, definitely not, Sam. And I've and I've ranted about this on the show about universities and how expensive they are and what a money grab it is. And them going back to school and sending everyone back to school is a money grab, right? They're they're being irresponsible. I understand people have to get their under education. I understand you can't do a lot of things online, but it it, it really irks me that they're just stealing money from people. And this is going to set them back later on in life. Jeff, yeah, set them back, bro. Yes, man, because it's not just $36,000. Think about the interest that's going to, to play out of that as they try to pay off that debt over the course of 10 years, 15 years. They're going to end up paying closer to probably seventy dollars or $80,000 when you start tacking on the interest. And for what? They can still go back to school. So is that, is, for all the crimes we've seen at colleges, is this now the baseline? Is it $35,000 well, fine? I disagree with the both of you. Now, I agree with you in the sense that, yes, tuition is totally a money grab, Jeff. I think that uh, your education shouldn't be dependent on how much money you or your parents have or how much money you're going to then have to owe Sally Mae. I literally just paid off Sally Mae, I feel like, like a handful of years ago. It took me like 15 years to pay off all my student loan debt, so I get it. However, there is a code of conduct. When you go to one of these universities, it is very competitive to get in. You are then taking a spot of another deserving student. You deserve to go there too. Obviously you got in. So if you're taking a spot from another student, you have to follow the code of conduct. Listen, I don't want to sound like that I'm um, not empathetic to these, to these students because all they did really is, is they thought they could gather with some friends. But at the end of the day, when you violate that code of conduct, there are consequences. They know what that code of conduct is. But the consequence has to match the, 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 the crime. If, we're, if, the, if the consequence is a $35,000 and, yeah, and, and give them another 30, now you're 70 grand in the hole and you have nothing to show for your previous $36,000. That's a lot of money. That's, that's beyond, believe me, I agree with you on the money part, but at the same time, if you're jeopardizing the health of other people in that dormitory, all it takes is one, one student to all of a sudden get sick and then all of a sudden you have every single student in that whole dorm that also are going to get COVID. So if you have students that aren't taking it seriously, I understand why the school would suspend them. I do. I understand, but they're still letting them play football, Jeff. Yeah, that's a whole nother story. I hear you there.